Tua. So obviously a lot has been going on with Tua right now. Uh, they just reported uh, earlier today that he's getting put on IR. They saying that he should be back by week eight, if possible. So with that being said, man, what do you think should Tua do? Should he retire? Should he still play? What's your thoughts on this? Um, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what else to say because, like I said, it's scary. If I'm his wife, I'm pushing him to retire. If I'm his parents, I'm pushing him to retire. You've made enough money. You you can get any broadcasting job. You can you get really any job you want. You can be a quarterbacks coach somewhere. You could uh, you know like he's got enough connections. He doesn't even need a job. He he's good. He's got he's good without ever uh, working again. But I I just think that uh, it, it becomes a point where it's a little too much. And every time you lock up like that, I've never like C said. He's got the worst concussions I've ever seen. Wow. I have never seen a player. I think I've watched more football than anybody I know, bro. I I've never seen anybody lock up like that. Like that, never. It's scary. And I said, like I said, I don't feel comfortable watching Tua play anymore. Um, I I don't know. I got nothing else to say. He needs to retire. Okay, everybody went. Or right, Kyo, did you go? No, go go ahead. Well, my biggest thing is. If he's not going to retire, he has, to, he has to at least consider it. Him and his family, his team, like when I say his team, not his teammates, I'm talking about his family, his close friends, they need to sit down and have a kind of real conversation. What's the pros and cons? Because I'm with Mr. Box Office. I didn't hear what he said, but like his concussions, bro. I, like, like, like he said, I watched a lot of football. I've been watching football since I was <laughs> a little kid, and I have never seen a guy that locks up like this when he gets concussed and concussed. So he definitely has to consider it. I will say, you know, I don't know how much he loves football, but the guy that I always go to when I think about somebody that really loved the game is Peyton Manning. And even Peyton Manning was willing to walk away whenever he, his shoulders started giving him trouble. You know, he had to walk away, but he, you know, he thought about it. Andrew Luck, Luck, Luck in his prime, you know, because of injuries. So I think he should, and to be honest with you, we didn't see Andrew Luck on the field like we saw Tua locked up like that. So for me, Tua should definitely consider it. I can't tell a man he shouldn't, you know, put, pursue what makes him happy. So that's up to him and himself and his team. But I would highly recommend that he consider retiring and, like they said, going going into broadcasting, going into coaching, um, even talking about injuries and, in like, like whether it's sports medicine, whatever he decides to do with his career moving forward. But football to me, for me, I would probably tell him there's things that's more important to your life than football. If it was my son, I would tell him, look, bro, you played your whole life. You, you made it to the, 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 the highest level that you could have possibly made it to. You made a lot of money doing it at some point that itch had to be scratched and you're good now. Like maybe you never win a Super Bowl as a as a player, but you may win it as a coach. You may win it as an owner. I don't know, but I don't think he should risk his livelihood for the game anymore. It's kind of like- You were able to coach. lead the league in passing. Right. You, are, you accomplished a lot, man. It's time to let it go. But so I will I, you say- know, the that I actually, in my communications class, I showed the Kobe Bryant Deer basketball thing to my students. And Kobe even said, you know, I've been obsessed with the game. And though, you know, I still have that fire, my body just can't do it anymore. He says it in the um, little Deer Basketball video, short film. And I just think that too has to listen to his body at some point. That it's just not, it's not conducive for his life anymore. Um, right, one more thing real quick. This um, kind of just to uh, piggyback off of what um, X said. The, um, I feel like this... Sometimes you love something so much that you can't walk away from it. God has to take it away from you. You know what I mean? I think that I, I think that that's how some people are. I think I'm one of those people. <coughs> um, I, I had the experience that. I mean, I love radio so much. I I was in a terrible situation in my last commercial radio job, to whereas um I had to be fired from that job because I wasn't gonna leave it. And I think that that's that may be in a position. He might be in that position. 
somebody's going to have to tell him, look, you cannot come back here. You cannot come back here. Chris Bosch was in that position. Chris Bosch was trying to find anybody to tell him he was all right so he can go ahead and play basketball again. Um, Michael Irvin was just speaking about how when he broke his neck, he said he went and saw 20 some doctors waiting for one person to tell him that he uh he could play um football again. He did find that one person and he said his wife and family told him, do not do that. Don't put us through that. Don't go out there. We don't want to think about you going out there and then next hit taking you away from us forever. So that's the reason why he retired. And um, I think it's I think that that's what's gonna have to happen. They're gonna have to tell him. The, the Miami Dolphins should look and make a decision like that and say, look, we don't want to be responsible for what's going to happen to you if you take another hit. That's a, that's yeah. somebody in that, t- in that front office is going to have to make the position because he's not he's not able to do it right now for himself. He's not thinking clearly. I um, also want to add – sorry, Q. I just want to add something real quick about Andrew Luck being a Colts fan. Andrew Luck only suffered one concussion in his NFL career. So – he retired because his shoulder was uh, – he was tired of his shoulder. He was tired of his calf. He was tired of yep. – uh, Injuries. Just, it, mm-hmm. it, and that a doctor can fix, and you're good. These are head traumas. These are head hits. You can't fix your brain after that many hits, though. You know, you could eat You can eat better, and, you, and it, you, you'll get rid of brain fog and stuff like that, but – Bro, actual concussions, like, it's too late at that point. Like, that, you can't go back on that. Like, like Andrew Luck, he he, he probably feels great today. Uh, his shoulder is repaired. He's good. Mentally, he's at a better place than Tua will ever be. And Tua needs to realize that uh, this is not a shoulder. This is not a calf. This is not an ACL Achilles. All that can be fixed. Bro, this is your head. And if Andrew Luck hung it up after only one concussion, Tua needs to realize, bro, I'm out of here. Have any of y'all ever experienced a concussion? No, but I, I heard it's brutal. I I know for sure I had a concussion. It wasn't diagnosed, but I um I had a concussion. I got one one day at practice, and thank God it was the um it was one play before practice was over because I went through, made the hit, I got up. And I couldn't see. Everything was blurry. And I have no idea how I made it back to the huddle. I was able to run the next play. But I did it. And then they called out practice. Man, I was sick. I was dizzy. Everything. Like, I felt like I was going to throw up. Everything now, I know that that was a concussion. You probably wanted wanted to avoid sun for a few days. Yeah, I mean, yeah. But I I mean, I couldn't do it. I was in high school. Um, And you know what my coach told me? You just got your bell rung. You'll be all right. Yeah. You'll be all that's right. Back in the day. Yeah, that's back in the day. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, go sit down. Go sit down. Go sit down before you get in the shower. Just sit down. Chill out for a second. He goes some water. Calm down. You know what I mean? I got a notch. Ch- and that was my diagnosis. I got my bell rung. <laughs> and uh, and I mean, this now what we know about concussions, though, I, uh, I, I, I'm happy that we know so much about those concussions. Um. Now that that kids won't go through that because I was a 16 year old kid, 17 year old kid, and I had somebody tell me I got my bell run to sit down and drink some water. Nah, man, that's something that takes people out. Like you said, Andrew Luck had one, and he he decided it was enough for him. Okay. Uh, well, my view with this is different comp- compared to all three of you. Um, I'm not saying he should retire. I'm not saying he shouldn't retire. But I don't think nobody's in no room and no position to say what Tua should do. And that's the problem that I have with the media and the fans saying, hey, you should (laughs) retire. You 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 should retire. Your career is over. We'll never see you play a down again. And you should do something else. We're We're not in a position to say anything like that it's up to two at the end of the day i mean can we at least say hey get better have a full recovery let's see what the doctors say first before we start questioning Tua's future it's not and and we're we're making it seem like he's having a life-threatening injury 
Like he, he got back, he got back up. He got back up and and he he walked on his own. What happened with Damar Hamlin? That, that was a life threatening injury. We didn't come out and tell Damar Hamlin, hey, your your career is over. We don't think you should ever play again. Should I be two was in his third season and concussions? It's it's different for every single player. Some players uh, walk um get over their concussions the concussions the very next day. Everybody's concussions process as an athlete is completely different. We've seen how many concussions guys like Jay Cutler had. Brett Favre, one of the greatest players of all time, he went over a hundred concussions. Brett Favre seems fine to me, and and He's at the end of, to me and for, and for me at the end of the day, it's up to Tua. If he wants to step away from it, if he gets cleared, he gets cleared. If if they want to put him on IR, they want to put him in IR. If he says they have no plans of, he has no plans of retiring. Then let Tua do what he wants to do. Um, I'm. I don't think we should question and let somebody walk away from their dream and what they love to do. I'm. I'm never gonna tell somebody to stop doing what they should do. Like my be, my best advice for for anybody out there, if I know you, if I don't know you, is do what makes you happy. If if that's what makes Tua happy, even though we may disagree with it. Th 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 we just got to let it be at the end of the day. And from what we see right now, Tua is going to play this season. He's going to play by week eight. I, I just think Tua needs to make better, wiser decisions on that football field because oh. he should have took the knee and he didn't take the knee. That's his fault at the end of the day. That's nobody's else fault outside of Tua. He just needs to play smarter. Well, I'll, 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 I'll double back to a few things. Okay, so like I'm not I'm not saying that I agree with you, but I understand where you're coming from. I do. As far as the happiness, when you live life, your number one thing is to be happy. I'm not opposed to that. But in the same breath, he can I think he can find happiness in some other realm. Happiness doesn't just doesn't have to be just playing football. It can be other things. So that's where I kind of move off of that. And I think. What, what you were saying, and I was thinking about what C was saying, <laughs> with Chris Bosh and Michael Irvin, they won championships. So they they may feel like they can walk away from it a lot easier because we know the ultimate goal is to become a Hall of Famer and win a championship. Me, you know, me and Box Office always like, I will take less money to win a championship if that's what it took. But at some point, Keo, I'm not going to speak from a tour perspective. And I, and I, I may be the only one that feels this way. If I'm the Miami Dolphins, I'm like, bro, I'm good, bro. I don't, I can't, I can't allow you to get back on the field. I can't allow you because I couldn't live with myself knowing that you've gone through these concussions. You brought up a lot of guys that got concussed for sure, but not the way Tua has. Tua literally locks up, dog. It's like it's scary. It's like you don't even know if he's gonna get up from the injury. So for me. If I'm the Dolphins, I'm making plans on maybe drafting a Quinn Ewers next year, a Shador Sanders, going <laughs> that direction. I'm putting Tua on a medical leave for the rest of the year, and I have that heart-to-heart -heart with them saying, look, man, at the end of the day, we love you enough to say we think you should walk away. Now, if another team wants to offer you an opportunity, that's on them, but we're not going to go that route. We would love to offer you an opportunity in the front office doing something else. But we're not going to put you back on the field because I know y'all all my homeboys. I always call y'all my brothers when I start the show. If I know something can harm you and then it actually comes back and harms you because I didn't be real with you and how I felt about it and you end up passing away off of it, I'm going to be like, dang, I talked that boy into doing it. And he passed away on my dime. So for me, I think they should have that conversation. But if I'm the Dolphins, I'm moving on. But I, but I think they already have that conversation, though. Like they, he probably talked to the neurologist. He probably talked to his family. He probably talked to his team. And before Miami even thought of drafting him, they Tua had injury issues in Alabama. That's that that was his question oh. of where his draft stock could go because you were kind of 
you were kind of questioning what type of player Tua was going to be because of those injury issues. Right, and right. I'm pretty sure Miami was aware of that, what they were dealing with. And obviously, but nothing like that. He had what the hip injury and he had a knee injury, right? It wasn't no, no concussion injury. Yeah. I, 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 so you're Miami, you, you let him back on the field. And then what happens if something terribly or tragic happens? You don't feel like no remorse towards that? I do feel remorse, but I I don't I don't try to think of the worst of something. And I know, but you but, but you a, have to. You have to. When you love I just someone, can't. I just can't though, man. Because if I think like that, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume it's gonna happen. I I I, I try to wish for. Well, you can't be naive. You can't forward. be naive either. It's happened multiple times. He's locked up. You have to think what if all the time, Kia. Right. Like you. You have to like it is even even before you send your kids off to play football. That's what I was about to bring up. That's exactly you have what to I was think. Bring up. You have to think. What if? Yes. Maybe pray my for, view. Pray for the best, but prepare for the worst. Maybe maybe right. my view is different than than you guys because yeah. I because I, I don't have kids and you know I'm not a dad or anything like that. I I, I just my view is just completely different towards that man and. And I just, I just don't, I just don't have a problem if Tua decides he wants to play again. Okay, Matt, let let me tell you something real quick. I um, I coach my son now. I coach a eleven year olds, and the um, the main thing that we teach them, the main thing that I emphasize the most on is how to tackle, because I don't want them that it's, it's it's their natural tendency to come lead with their head down like that that right there can hurt them in so many ways it's um it, 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 it can break their neck they can have a severe back brain injury leading with their neck their head down like that so my you know of course head up put your head toward the ball wrap up that's how you tackle you don't tackle with your head down and you see so many people lead with the crown of their head and that's why it's a penalty in the nfl it's not just even so much that it's going to hurt the uh receiver or whoever it's a, it, it can hurt either one of y'all that's why it's a penalty so when um when i when i look at kids like that and i and i try to teach kids the way to play on um, the game you know i look at that as a, as in if this was my child and my child i just moved him to middle linebacker today and he got that dog in him he go go hit but he does know how to hit he knows how to hit i've taught him how to hit He's um he's not leading with his head, but uh, that's a lot of contact as well. That's a lot of contact as well. So I'm um uh, I've been debating on even moving him to corner because of that. You know what I mean? But it's football. Either way it go, you got to you just have to be conscious that there's going to be some impact he's going to go through playing football because he's also our starting tailback. So he's going to have to have some impact, something, and he runs hard. He runs hard and he tries to run you over. So he's going, he's looking for impact. And he's little. I don't even know why he's trying to run people over, but you know, that's just him. <laughs> so um yeah. we you you look at that when you have kids and and watching them, you 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 pray for the best and prepare for the worst. And part of his preparation is teaching him how. You know, okay. you hear a lot of the people in the NFL talk about the running quarterbacks, they say he needs to be taught how to slide how to slide that's that's part of the preparation they need to be taught even a person who make it all the way to the nfl as a nfl quarterback and still not know how to slide to protect himself that's part of it i think two is one of two is problem is he hadn't been taught how to slide how to protect himself yeah, that's true i that's agree with that it. and and um and, and last thing before we move on over to the the last topic man like i i, I just can't i just can't imagine the pressure that's getting put on Tua right now, him seeing us talk about it, the fans talk about it, the media out there talk about it, saying he should walk away. That That's tough, man. And, you know, my thoughts and prayers out to Tua and his family. Hope he has a full, fully healthy recovery. And whatever he decides to do, man, best of luck to Tua and his family and the Miami Dolphins.